my way up to Kligman's Dome. Uh, we've already passed through the Pine Oak Forest. We're passing through the northern hardwood coves right now on Newfound Gap Road. Very soon we'll be up in an area where the uh, leaves aren't out yet because we're going up in elevation, which is similar to going north in latitude. Going up past a lot of really tall tulip trees. Here comes a hairpin turn. You may be able to see the cars coming down from the right. A lot of these hairpin turns going up Newfound Gap, the only road through the center of the Smokies to get up to the rooftop. Right directly ahead is the chimneys. So the Twin Peaks. I'm going to pull off here and take some uh, panoramas. So we're now we're up in the uh, red spruce forest, going up Klingman's Dome, and the temperature is going down as we go up in elevation, of course. Remember, it's about four degrees Fahrenheit per thousand feet. Klingman's Dome is 6,288 feet, whereas the uh, Sugar Land Center, I think, is about 2,300 feet, something like that. But you can see it's all red spruce trees now. We're not quite high enough for the uh, Fraser fir yet, which of course is mostly uh, mostly gone. Down at the bottom, it's 78 degrees. Up here, it's uh, right now it's 62 degrees Fahrenheit. But we've got a we've got a ways to go elevationally. And of course, the Smokies and the White Mountains are two of the the best stretches of the Appalachian Trail. As soon as we get to a lookout, I'll show you what it looks like out there, which is absolutely gorgeous. You can really see the smoky, smoky haze today from all the trees. A little bit of water moisture in the air, but um, doesn't look like there's very much uh, pollution from the southeast of here. It looks like it's primarily the the blue haze from the terpenes and the turpentines and all of the other volatile organic compounds from the, primarily the uh, spruce fir trees. Okay, now we're up into the, uh, where the fir begins to grow and you can see the, the skeletons of the uh, Fraser fir. We'll see many more of them as we get up to the top. Some of them are dead red spruce from the acid fog, but most of them are uh, dead Fraser firs. Of course there's a lot of hardwoods that haven't leafed out yet. Right here the trees are about the same as they would be up in our way right now. In other words the top of uh, Klingman's Dome is about a month behind the, uh, the valleys here. And since the valleys are about a month ahead of us Klingman's Dome is about the same as uh, Western Massachusetts right now in terms of leaf out. It might be slightly ahead. So now we're at the rooftop of the east, the top of Klingman's Dome. And what I'm doing right now is doing a slow pan from uh, left to right so that you can get an idea of just the extent of all of the mountains and mountain ranges in the, uh, in the back. Um, it's pretty cold up here. And um, as you can see, it looks fairly desolate. Enjoy the panorama.